getting the shot before some other car comes. The car on Ooh, the wait. road. Oh, sick wheel. Sick 400R. Sorry? We saw this 400R car on the street and then we're here with the owner to check out the car. Next to 34. So let's see what's underneath. Look at that built by legends. You got there. the carbon fiber and then, and then engine built, thing, built by doing my and that's a legendary GT2. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's wow. So this truck bar is specific to this car. You see the rainbow titanium welds. That's so cool. 400 R seats. So the mind shift boot. That special steering wheel. Horn works. Nismo cluster, the old logo, and the 400 R specific. It's so cool. It's got a full four seats. This guy brought his kids together with him. So this one is, it goes yeah! In the 400R. That's so sick. It's so different from my R33. Sweet. There's an air show happening over here. We've got the two GTRs. We've got the Dorado. Oh, not the BC, sorry, the choir, one of the choirs. That's so sick. This Regera, though, blue carbon everywhere. That's so cool. But moving on, the Singer Turbo is in the parking lot this year. It was inside last year, but <laughs> this year it's outside. <laughs> the Hennessy Venoms, there's two, two of them here. One with a wing, I think that's an Evo, and one without the wing. We are in Quail. A lot of things to see today. We're gonna start off with. Let's start off with Lamborghini and see what's going on. These are the cars brought by O'Gara. This is the LM25, the P1 HTK that was here last year, and we have the P1 GTR. Sick. So coming over here, we have this 911 that looks like a turbo, but it's actually powered by an F1 engine, Formula One engine. Check engine speed. All the carbon. Stephanie Johansson painted it. And these cars are basically all done by Lazante out in the UK where they convert track focused cars into uh, road legal conversions and they built this Le Mans special. These stripes are all painted. That's so cool. It's like paint splatter. F1, cool, but Suki's S2000 though. I have no idea this is going to be here, that's it. Suki says 2000 from Fast and Furious uh, 2. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Bugatti driving by. Super cool. Chrome wheels, sick. I think this is a GMA Evo or Sporty and this is a T50. Or T50 race car with more NACA ducks and like all these like, racing scoops. That's kind of cool. XP1 experimental prototype. You know what? Their prototypes usually turn into like actual race cars, so that's extra cool. All the carbon. Like Nikki Lauda special. Oh, okay. Nice. Retained the little fan in the back. New Lambo getting unveiled today. The La La Lanzador. Lazondor. I like the color of it though. It's like a little blue metallic -y. A little darker than the Aventador release her unveiling color. At the Porsche stand, we have a little bit of a 595 overload. Just look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the signal yellow or orange, or signal orange looking 2.7 RS. Got all the cars here, and these are all like RSs. And it's Quail, so I don't think they have like fake RSs, but about seven of them. And we have this new Spider RS. So this one I mistakenly call the Gentian Blue, but it's actually painted in a BMW San Marino metallic. It's a PTS color for this car, non isac but it has magnesium wheels, ceramic brakes, painted in black as well, blue stitch interior, super cool. That's a GT3 with MR racing everything. Aero disc, it's similar to the Jade Green one we saw earlier. And here is a 4RS that looks exactly like my dad's car in Singapore, but my dad has um, red calipers and steel, but nonetheless, still super cool. We'll see the pink one when you get back to Canada. And this is how the Speedster should have been from Porsche when it first came out. So I think Roof took a Speedster or something and then turned it into this. So look at that. 
manual transmission, how it's intended to be, with a carbon fiber dash up front. They retain the Sport Chrono, so everything is kind of the same. Uh, wing mirror delete, turn into cameras. They call it the R Spider. Very cool. And over here we have a CTR3 Evo. So we saw this car at the factory when it was still, you know, carbon, not painted, nothing was done, still under R&D. Um, and now it's here, the finished product. Everything in there is carbon. That little engine thing, engine oil thing is probably original with a push rod suspension at the back. Super cool. It's like an updated, updated version of the CTR3, which is still like a hyper car. Nice, driving with the doors up. Pretty deep, pretty sick. I mean, actually not today, you're the first. Bonani stand. We got the Poira, we got the new, I think that's Utopia. We got another brown looking fire with interesting headlights. The dash is cool, it's all like more candy. Look at how we did the dash. Utopia, carbon body, titanium exhaust. Super cool. And you see the weld in there. That's what I like about it. It's just like mechanical. But these are like the regular F5 Venoms. And then we have the black one and the roadster in the back. So these are the Evo version with the big wings. New Zenvos. Does this have the wing that moves around? The front's kind of cool. The side profile is sick. Check out the arrow in that. That's like straight from the Valkyrie. See the arrow over here. Suspension is on the outside. Kind of push rod. I don't think this is the wing like the last one. New Zenvo. Look down there. You see straight through the arrow. It's amazing. Apparently it's a V12 quad turbo. It's four turbos going on with a little bit of hybrid boost. Pretty neat. That glug 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 sound is from one of the Venoms here. No rear mirror and a bunch of arrow underneath. I'm impressed. That is so cool. Rimac Time Attack. Painter wheels. I like those. Well, the nose loop is coming on. It's gonna go off there, so I'll watch it go. Very quiet. It, it is an EV, so it better be quiet. <laughs> this is a super spot that they made for, I think, some anniversary, and the door is actually hand painted by one of the artists over there. Kind of showcasing the entire history of the brand and stuff. This is a gold Mistral. Apparently, this one is a production car that actually works because the one from last year is a, a mock up only for a show. But it's actually better, better because you can actually see all the lines on this one. It's a lighter color as compared to the black one. Starting from the passenger side, you see like the older Bugattis over here. Type 41, all that, Type 35. And then when you move over to this side, well, the front's black, which is kind of cool. So it fades from like literally black to a little bit painted here, to the EB110, and then to the um, Cento DJ or whatever, the new, the new car, to the... Um, I forgot what that is. Oh, the Devo to Pure Sport, and then to like the Bolide Super Sport 300, and to the current Mistral back there. So, this is the whole Lamborghini story painted from the passenger side to the driver's side. Super cool. My gold is just super cool with the exhaust tips that looks like 935 tips. This is a 377, so the 3177 is here. Pretty sick. Look at the suspension down there. So cool. The new Lambo is leaving. Looks really like Blade Runner 2048 kind of thing. A little too lifted, maybe. Someone's climbing. Spotted Shmi vlogging the uh, roofs. He's gonna start it.
little late to the party, but that's the Mustang GTD. Apparently it's a $300,000 car, but it is street legal. So that's really cool, actually. Carbon fiber, we got the big uh, chassis mounted wing from the top. Massive brakes. And that's a cool suspension for geometry. For Multimatic engineered. What seems to be like Multimatic engineered Mustang with all different body panels. And I think the show car is actually electric. But that's so cool. Just look at where the wing's mounted. Well, this was 311, and this is 411, and that back there is 511. So there are 5177s this year at Car Week. Pretty amazing. 599 959. Pardon me. That flywheel is just doing it. This is a new Lambo. Lance Lazandor. Apparently, it is full electric, and that makes me question: How are they going to put, you know, all like the driving experience and all that into this brand with this car being EV? So that's that's going to be interesting. Oh wait, it's a coupe. It's a two door. Huh, I thought this would be more like an SLK with like a four door. The Pini Farina booth completely forgot about this section. And there's a 250 GT over there, 275. But I like the how the GT still looks. So this edition is like the Nino something edition. It's one of five. And they made an SUV version over there, which is kind of cool. But can it for real edition? They went from a design house to like an automotive manufacturer, which is kind of sick. That's the Singer 935 looking study thing. That's so cool. So we're done quail. What is that? Looks like a Ford GT1 thing? It looks like it says prototype. Ooh! Okay, this is like a new prototype kind of thing. Carbon fiber seats. Cool. Sweet. It's like a GT1 from 05, but like they rebodied it and stuff. I don't know what these are, but that's the 968 production thing, I think. Behind the scenes, setting up a little shoot here. Oh, cars. The 4x4 and the 6x6. And we're here shooting the 33 and 34. And the Chiron. We're having a whole car meet here. Oh, the Supra came in and crashed the shoot a little bit, but now he's gone. So back to the two Skylines. That's one of 44, and this is one of a couple thousand. Chiron, one of very little. And a black 3RS with mag wheels. Very pretty. What the fuck? Random Venom here and the Chevy. We're here to shoot the uh, 400R and this. Yo, no cousin, man. Kids' ears. All right, we're here in this spot getting the shots before some other car comes. Literally on a ledge, and Derek's on the cliff. I'm gonna fuck my ankle, guys. This is my first day. Oh man, he's climbing. I, f I almost fell off that, don't do that. Wait, he actually climbs in Singapore, so he's fine. That beautiful spot though. Imagine having this house here. M3 station wagon, that's sick. And then we're parked up here. All the spotters are here. I'm gonna do driving then. Yeah, the Cobra made, made that sound so quiet. There's another Cobra Viper over here. And a nice NSX and RPF1. Why are people running? Manuel. Grigio Telesto. Murcilago. Murcilago. It's a 10 out of 10 plate. You get a reference? Uh, yes, 10 out of 10 plate. 